Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. We're over halfway into our quest to whittle 16 schools down to eight as we work towards the quarterfinals and the championship with the $1,000 prize for the winning school's project graduation. In our fifth qualifying match, it's the Crusaders of John Baps Memorial High School. taking on the Saints of St. Dominic Academy. That's coming up on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. People who can work from home seem to love it. Who else loves it? Cyber criminals. Cyber coverage from Safety Insurance covers data and system restoration, data recreation, and more. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms and by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm your host, Todd Guttner. We're over halfway through our first eight matches as we knock 16 teams down to eight for the quarterfinals. One of today's teams will make it through and maybe go all the way to the $1,000 prize for their school's project graduation. John Bapps Memorial High School from Bangor is hoping to become a repeat champion, having won it all in season four but they must get past St. Dominic Academy from Auburn, who are making their fourth appearance and hoping for their first trip to the finals. Let's get things going by meeting our players. For John Bapps, we have Declan, Spring, Albert, and Summer, with alternates Marie and Ruby, and coached by Jacob Mattis. And for St. Dominic, we have Connor, Riesland, Anna, and Avery, with alternates Kyle, Georgie, and Gigi, and they're coached by Sophie Willett. Now the competition as three rounds, the toss-up round, the category round, and the lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. Are you guys ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it. I think you guys are ready. John Babs, St. Dobbs, good luck. Here comes the first question. Because many technology companies are based there, the region around San Jose, California is known by what name that refers to the material used to make semiconductors? Connor, St. Dom's. Silicon Valley. That is correct. Which TV series stars Jason Sudeikis as an American football coach who moves to England to coach a soccer team? Of course, the first thing he learned is soccer is football in England. Riesland, St. Dominic. Ted Lasso. That's correct, Ted Lasso. Next question. In the Harry Potter universe, what's the last name of the twin brothers, Fred and George, who run a joke shop for wizards? Uh, Anna, St. Dominic? Weasley. Weasley is also correct. All right, next question. Physicist J.J. Thompson was the first person to identify what negatively charged particles of an atom? Declan, John Babs. Electrons. That's correct. Electrons. Next question. Oh, it's a picture question, so take a look at the monitor right over here. Uh, name this American inventor and businessman credited with the invention of the light bulb as well as making contributions to the development of the phonograph and motion picture camera. Summer. John Bass. Uh, that would be Thomas Edison. And that would be correct. Next question. A TikTok user called Ghostwriter977 used AI to create a song that sounds like a collaboration between Drake and The Weeknd. It had more than 30 million views before it was removed from streaming platforms in April of 2023. What is the title of that song? It's Heart on My Sleeve. It went viral, I think. How do you guys not know that? <laughs> no, it's Heart on My Sleeve. All right, next question. In Greek mythology, what woman with a name meaning all gifts opened a storage vessel and released all the evils and plagues into the world? Go ahead, Spring. Pandora. That's correct. Which country has the most volcanoes in South America, including Lascar and Villarica, 
both of which were erupting in 2023. Albert, John Baps? Mm, Chile. Chile is right. Sometimes called milk sugar, which disaccharide is composed of glucose and galactose? Albert again. Fructose? Uh, that's incorrect. St. Dom's? Want to try? <coughs> Lactose is the sugar. Uh, next question is a video question again, so take a look at the monitor. Hello, my name is Joshua Chard, and I am the 2024 Main Teacher of the Year, and today's video question category is economics. Who is considered the father of modern economics and authored The Wealth of Nations? Uh, Summer, John Babs. Um, Adam Smith. You nailed it. Adam Smith. Here goes the next question. A famous speech given by Abraham Lincoln in June 1858 is known by what two-word name referring to a thing that Lincoln said cannot stand? Spring? Gettysburg Address. Uh, that's incorrect. St. Dom's, you want a shot? That's called House Divided. House Divided. We move on. Stevie Wonder, The Four Tops, The Supremes were artists signed to which soul music record label founded by Barry Gordy Jr. in Detroit in 1959? Uh. Motown is the correct answer. Next one. What luxurious fabric shares its name with the fuzzy skin that covers a reindeer's antlers before they're fully developed? Uh. Anna, St. Dom's? Silk. Uh, silk's incorrect. John Baps, you want to take a shot? Go ahead, Summer. Velvet. Velvet's the right answer. Next one. In December 1911, explorers from which of these countries became the first to officially plant their national flag at the South Pole? Norway, Russia, or the United Kingdom? Summer again. Russia. Uh, that's incorrect. Think. Go ahead, Connor. Norway. Norway's the right answer. All right, we have a math question now. Pencils, papers are in front of you. Uh, a group of 130 dancers are auditioning for a show. If 40% of that group are hired for the show, how many dancers are hired? Go ahead, Albert. 52. 52 is the right answer. Next question. What novel by Jan Martel is the story of a young man lost at sea with a tiger named Richard Parker? Spring? Life of Pi. Life of Pi is the right answer. The warmest ocean in the world is which ocean that spans the area between Africa and Australia? Anna. The Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean is right. Which sport that is played professionally in the countries of the British Commonwealth involves a bowler, a batsman, and test matches that can take several days to complete? Anna again. Squash. Uh, incorrect. Go ahead, Spring. Rugby? Uh, also incorrect. It's cricket. Cricket. All right, we're going to the next one here. Which dwarf planet is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter? Declan? Ceres. Ceres is right. Here comes the next one. What man was sworn in as president of the United States while he was aboard Air Force One at Dallas Love Field in November 1963? This happened shortly after President Kennedy was assassinated also in Dallas. Uh, go ahead, Declan. Lyndon, Lyndon B. Johnson. That is the right answer. Which of these substances would be collected by a phlebotomist? Blood, plant pollen, or seawater? Anna, St. Dom's. Blood. Blood is right. A painting called The Anatomy Lesson that shows Dr. Nikolai Tulp and members of the Amsterdam Guild of Surgeons gathered around a cadaver is a famous work by which 17th century Dutch artist? Summer? Uh, Vermeer. Uh, that is incorrect. St. Dom's, you want to try? Uh, the correct answer is Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Here's the next question. The character Din Grogu, better known as Baby Yoda, made its first appearance in 2019 on which TV series? Uh, Spring. The Mandalorian. That's the right answer. All right, here's the second math question and the final one of the round. What is the circumference of a circle with a radius measuring three centimeters? Albert. Six pi. Six pi is right. Nice job, Albert. Uh, in 2019, economist Kristalina Georgieva from Bulgaria was named managing director of what global financial organization with the initials IMF? Declan. International, International Monetary Fund. That's the right answer. Foraged wild in the spring, 
The curly young shoots of the ostrich fern are known by what name because they look like the scroll at the top of a certain musical instrument? Anna, St. Dom's. Fiddlehead? Yep, Fiddlehead. The largest lake by volume in the United Kingdom is which lake in Scotland that, according to some people, has a monster living in it? Uh, spring? Loch Ness. Loch Ness, yes. In his two treatises on government, published in 1689, which English philosopher wrote that people have a natural right to life, liberty, and property? Uh, Albert. Uh, Locke. Yes, John Locke. Next question. Uh, John117, also known as Master Chief, is the main character in which video game series? Connor, go ahead. Halo. Halo, yeah. Next question. The National Military Medical Center, located in Bethesda, Maryland, is named for which U.S. Army physician who demonstrated that yellow fever was transmitted by mosquitoes? It's Walter Reed Hospital. Next question. After 35 years and 13,981 performances, which Andrew Lloyd Webber musical about a character who wears a mask played its last performance on Broadway in April 2023? Uh, Summer, go ahead. Uh, Phantom of the Opera. Yep, got it. Here's our next question. By definition, something that is Hellenistic is related to the history, art, and culture of what ancient civilization? Connor. Greece. Yes, Greece is right. In 1676, what man led a rebellion against the colonial governor of Virginia that ended with the burning of Jamestown? Uh, Connor again. Bacon? Yes, you got it again. Nice job. Victoria Falls is located on the border between Zambia and which other African country whose name starts with a Z? Uh, spring? Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe, yes. Oh, that's the end of the first round. We have John Baps in the lead with 170 points, followed by St. Dom's with 100. It's pretty close. We've got a great game underway, so don't go anywhere. We'll meet the players when we get back. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by... Hey, how are you doing today? The Maine Education Association does a fantastic job of giving us a voice. So what do you think? Good manners. To help teachers and students realize that people support them every day. The MEA helps me be better at my job. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Before we head to the category round, we like to pause and get to know our players with a slightly silly question. And the question is, if you could appear in any movie, what would it be and what character would you play? We'll begin with John Babst over here. Declan, what do you think? Can I answer with TV show? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> Break the rules, why not? <laughs> uh, probably uh, Josh Lyman in The West Wing. Okay, yeah, West Wing was real good. I, I like that show. Sort of being the, the smart aleck in every situation. Okay, and that's what you are? Uh, it's what I aspire to be. I mean, you're a rule breaker. <laughs> <laughs> we move on to spring. Go ahead. Ooh, well, I'm a big cinephile, so this is a really hard oh, one. Oh, wait, wait, a what? A big what? Cinephile, movie lover. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that went way over my head. That tells you how smart I am. Uh, go ahead. Oh, I guess I'll have to say Harold from Harold and Maude for this one. See, I don't know that movie either. It's a really good one, so uh, you, sh you should check it out. It's going to go on my short list of movies to watch. I'm sure there'll be other movies on my short list from the, the rest of you, too. Albert, go ahead. I think I'd just like to be R2-D2 from Star Wars, <laughs> just because I like his character. You like his character? Yeah, you want to sure. be a robot? Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, right. Uh, Summer? It's, I'd probably want to be Emma from the movie adaptation of Emma okay. by Jane Austen, because I really love Regency fashion, and I think it would be really cool to get my hair done and everything. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty fun. All right, thanks guys. Um, St. Dom, you're up. Go ahead, Connor. Let's see if I know any of the movies you're about to say. I didn't know really any of those except for the R2-D2 reference. <laughs> I would be Yoda from Star Wars. I know Yoda, and I know Star Wars. Why would you like to be Yoda? I just think it would be awesome to be able to use the Force. Yeah, I mean, right. Who, yeah. who wouldn't want to have the Force? The Force be with you someday, Connor. Uh, Riesling, go ahead. I would like to be Megamind from the 2010 animated film Megamind. Um, I don't know that one either. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What, what is so great about that hit? He's a villain, but he's actually a hero. And oh. he's blue and really bald. He has a really big head. Okay. And he has a little minion fish. Minion fish. So. All right. Well, I thank you for explaining all that. That made no sense to me. Um, Anna, your turn. 
Um, I would be Bob from the Minion movie. Um, okay. Because he's just, I mean, he becomes king, and uh, he's my role model, and I just aspire oh, wow. to be him. Okay. All right. That's cool. <laughs> Striving to be Bob from Minions. Yes. Um, Avery, your turn. The final one. Um, I'd like to be the fish minion from Megamind so I could hang out with Riesland. Do you guys like do everything together, basically? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I figured that. Um, well, thanks for playing there, guys. The category round is next. Let's see how well you do, though, with our viewer question of the week. Hi, I'm Alec O'Mara from Unitil, and this is your viewer question of the week. The world's first transatlantic television signal was sent from Maine to France in 1962. But from which town? Was it Moscow, Limestone, Bethel, or Andover? We'll have the answer coming up later in the show. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Quizzy questions, bear with me. Critical mass, take me to your leader. We have it on loan and twinkle twinkle. Now questions have increasing point values and wrong answers will cost you. Each team will alternate control of two categories with each question. They can choose to either answer it, they can gain or lose points with that, they can skip it and neither gain nor lose points, or once per category they can toss it over to the other team and force them to answer. Players will have five seconds to confer and decide what to do. Uh, St. Dominic's, you're trailing, but just by a little bit. Uh, you can make it up in this round. You guys get to start. What are we going with? You want to take me to your leader? Sure. Take me to your leader. So these are questions about political leaders. Here's the first question for 10. Naharu, Gandhi, and Modi are surnames of some of the people who have served as prime minister of which country since it gained its independence in 1947? India. Yeah. India. India is right. Take me to your leader for 15. Father and son, Pierre and Justin, both have served as Prime Minister of Canada. What is their surname? Trudeau, right? I don't know. Trudeau. Trudeau is their surname. Nice job. Take me to your leader for 20. Hoping to convince German investors to fund a railroad in their state, in 1873, the people of North Dakota renamed a city in honor of what German chancellor? Later, they made it their capital. Bismarck. Bismarck is the right answer. Take me to your leader for 25. What world leader who became Prime Minister of New Zealand in 2017 announced her resignation in 2023, saying she did not have enough energy left in the tank to continue the job? Do you know it? Skip it. Skip. Okay, so you want to skip? The answer is Ardern. Ardern. Here's the last one. Take me to your leader for 30. Finalized in 1978, the Camp David Accords were signed by President Jimmy Carter, Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin, and what man who was the president of Egypt? Do you want to skip or toss? We'll toss. Okay, Connor, so you want to toss, send it over to John Baps. We'll do that. I'll read it again for you guys. Uh, finalized in 1978, the Camp David Accords were signed by President Jimmy Carter, Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin, and what man who was the president of Egypt? I'm not sure, but I'm going to answer Nasir. You got this one. Go ahead, Declan. Nasir? Uh, Nasir's incorrect. It's Anwar Sadat. That's the correct answer. So that wraps up St. Dom's category. We're over to you now, John Baps. Declan, what's your first category going to be? Uh, we're going to take critical mass. Critical mass. These are questions about Massachusetts. Here we go. Woods Hole, Hyannis, and Provincetown are places on what 65-mile-long sandy peninsula in Massachusetts? Cape Cod. That is correct. Critical mass, 15. What senator, currently in her second term, was the first woman elected to represent Massachusetts in the U.S. Senate? Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren, also correct. Critical mass, 20. The third most populous city in Massachusetts is which city? where basketball was invented. Springfield. Springfield. That's right. Critical mass for 25. The homestead in Amherst, Massachusetts, is the birthplace of what poet who wrote, I'm nobody, who are you? What do you think, Declan? Skip, skip or toss? Or I need an answer. Uh, skip. 
Skip, the answer is Emily Dickinson. It was on the tip of your tongue, what, tongue wasn't it? I'm from Amherst. <laughs> At least you say it correctly. <laughs> uh, critical mass for 30. A museum in Stockbridge, Massachusetts is dedicated to the life and work of what 20th century American artist who painted hundreds of cover illustrations for the Saturday Evening Post magazine? Norman Rockwell. That is correct. That was for 32. That wraps up your first category. Now we're back to St. Dom's for your second category. What's it going to be? Bear with me. I suppose. Bear with me. <laughs> All right, Connor. Bear with me. The question's about bears in popular culture. Here's the first one. Paddington Bear is named for a railway station in London, but according to the stories by Michael Bond, he was born in which South American country? You need an answer, Connor? Brazil. Brazil's incorrect. Uh, their correct answer is Peru. Peru. Bear with me, 15. Since 2001, only you can prevent wildfires has been the motto of which bear who is the mascot of the U.S. Forest Service? Smokey. Smokey the bear. Smokey the bear, yeah. Um, bear with me for 20. Yogi Bear lives in Jellystone Park with what smaller bear who is his sidekick and best pal? Nobody knows about Yogi Bear. Do you know it? Skip. Skip. We'll, we'll skip. You'll skip that. It's Boo Boo. Boo Boo. That's what I call my cat, Aries. Boo Boo. Bear with me, 25. The mascot for sports teams at the University of Maine is a bear with what name that is the same as the name of a tropical fruit? Banana. Banana. Uh, banana is correct. Yes. Nice job. Bear with me for 30. Waka waka is the catchphrase of which bear from The Muppet Show who wears a necktie and a pork pie hat and tells very corny jokes? Do you know it? Do you want to skip or toss? We'll skip. We'll skip that one too. Okay, Fozzie Bear is the correct answer. Uh, that was for 30. So, John Baps, your second category. Um, twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. These are questions about stars. Here's the first one for 10. What word that means cloud in Latin is the scientific term for a giant cloud of dust and gas where new stars are formed? Nebula. Nebula. Nebula is right. Twinkle, twinkle, 15. A nuclear reaction is necessary for a star to form. What term that includes a color and size is defined as a failed star that can't generate the reaction necessary for it to become a true star? Brown dwarf. That is correct. Twinkle, twinkle for 20. The brightest star in Ursa Minor is what star that has historically been used as a navigation guide by sailors? The North Star. Uh, North Star is right. Here is twinkle, twinkle for 25 now. The star cluster that includes Alcyone, Electra and Maya is known by what Greek name that refers to the seven sisters whose father was Atlas? Skip. That skip. You want to skip that? The answer is Pleiades. Pleiades. Twinkle, twinkle for 30, the last one. From the Greek for alternation, what is the name for the geometric effect that allows astronomers to measure the distance to nearby stars? I think it's Declan, what do you want to do? Skip. Skip. You want to skip it? It's parallax. Ah, I heard you say it. Heard you whisper it. All right, well, that wraps up our category round. We have a score, John Baps, 260, St. Dominic, 175. Everything can change in the lightning round, so sit tight. We'll be right back. How did you do with the question of the week? It was, the world's first transatlantic television signal was sent from Maine to France in 1962. But from which town? Was it Moscow, Limestone, Bethel, or Andover? The answer is Andover. The first picture sent was of an American flag outside the Andover Earth Station. 
Okay, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Players, you do not have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in any time, but do not answer until I call your name. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points, and the other team does not get the chance to answer. The clock is set. Here we go. First question. It's not easy being green is the signature song of uh, Anna St. Tom. Kermit the Frog. Yes, that's right. Texas Hold'em and five card draw. Uh, Declan. Poker. Poker is right. Havana is the capital of uh, Declan again. Cuba. Cuba is also right. A pentagon is a polygon with how many? S S Albert. Five. Five is right. Red Square and Gorky Park are landmarks in? Moscow. Moscow is right, Declan. In 1955, Jonas Salk introduced a vaccine against? Polio. Declan, you gotta wait for me to call on you, but you got it right. Which of the 13 original colonies was founded by Roger Williams? Uh. Rhode Island. In Shakespeare, Desdemona is the wife of which title character? Uh. Othello. In math, what uppercase Greek letter indicates S for summation? Declan? Sigma. Sigma's right. In the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch what? Uh, Albert. Pail of water. Pail of water, yes. Which flightless bird is a national emblem of New Zealand? Albert again. Emu. Emu's incorrect. The answer is kiwi. Which is the lightest of the six noble gases? Declan. Helium. Helium, right. In Scrabble, the highest value letter tiles are Z and which other letter? Declan. Q. Q. A stupa is a religious monument associated with what faith? Uh. Answer it's in Buddhism. Wow, that was a great final round there. John Babs pulled away with a final score of 420 points. They'll be moving on to the quarterfinals in a few weeks. Our runner-up, St. Dominic, had 195 points. Thank you both for playing, and congratulations to both teams. Be sure to tune in next time as Morse takes on Orono. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Home renovations can increase the value of your home. Safety Insurance offers a variety of home insurance products to cover your home's increased value. You can ask an independent agent about Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you.